Yo guys, welcome back to my new PCGO Darkness Ablaze video. Today, guys, we're looking at the brand new Houndoom V. Houndoom V is a pretty cool card. It's another basic fire Pokemon that does a lot of damage. Uh, we have a lot of those right now, obviously. But Houndoom is one of the more interesting ones because it does have Vengeful Flame, which does 100 damage. If any of your bench fire Pokemon have any damage on them, you do 100 more damage. So there's a cool combo with this deck is with the new Spike Mouth Stadium, where when you switch out a fire Pokemon, you put on the bench and the spike mouth puts two damage on it which completely activates vengeful flames attack and then you're doing 200 damage which is pretty good actually and 200 damage isn't bad you can play houndoom v with cape of toughness so you actually make it pretty tanky um which is pretty cool so i like playing houndoom v and uh, i've kind of built like a mini fire box type of deck with no nine tails you just have a bunch of basic fire pokemon like volk reshizard because reshizard can actually use outrage in combination with spike mouth nine tails uh heat ramble cephalon Pretty straightforward stuff. This is a list I'm rocking with for today's video. So for again, the video guys, of course, shout out to our sponsor, Carcavin TCG. Again, guys, if you're looking for any PDC Joe pack codes, get them over at Carcavin. If you guys are still looking to pick up Darkness of Blaze codes, get them at Carcavin. Carcavin is selling Darkness of Blaze codes right now for the cheapest on the market. So make sure to get your Darkness Blaze codes over at Card Cavern TCG. And again, if you're looking for any other codes from Card Cavern, you can get them over there. Most other codes are also pretty cheap compared to other places. And of course, guys, if you have any codes or cards laying around that you don't want to keep, give them to Card Cavern and they will give you some cash and in-store credit for any unused codes or any cards you can trade into them. You can check out their buy list to see what they're looking for and how much is what. If you get anything from Carcavin, guys, use code LDF at the checkout for a nice 5% discount on your order. Greatly supports the channel, helps yourself out, and to the Carcavin in the process. So yeah, shout out to Carcavin, guys. Check them out and use code LDF. Also, guys, if you want to check out my Patreon down below, too, you can pledge $2 a month just for exclusive content. I got some legacy videos over there, extra Dark of Plays code, uh, pack uh, videos, and then I got some back opening videos over there, too. So if you guys want to check out my Patreon, be sure to do so. So this is the Houndoom list I'm rocking with here. Um, it wasn't really that hard to build. Originally, I tried to set with Spirit Tomb and Jinx, which was pretty terrible. Um, I think the, the Spike Mouth play is the best. The only problem with playing the Spike Mouth build is you can't use Giant Hearth. Well, you can, but you, you know, you have way too many stadiums because you got Heat Factory, Spike Mouth, and Giant Hearth. It's not the greatest. Um, that's the only issue I have with playing Spike Mouth. Um, and Spike Mouth is one of the only ways this deck really works. Unless you go, like, Volk and then, like, hit it for, like, 30 damage. Um, and then you just move it to the bench and then you have Vengeful Flame activated. But Spike Mouth isn't terrible. It is a pretty decent card um, for other, you know, scenarios where your opponent, you know, keeps switching Jirachi or they keep switching their active. And that 20 damage does go a long way. You got to think against Zacian and V. They take that 20 damage. Um, they're down to 200 HP. And if they have a frying pan on, you know, Vengeful Flame. You know what I mean? Spike Mouth is still good. There's decks, obviously, that are playing Bird Keep or Switch. Even Maulana kind of. Um, so Spike Mouth is still a pretty decent stadium sometimes, and I mean, we do have five stadiums in here, so we have a lot of counter stadiums. Again, I'm not really too sold on really not having a hearth in here. I really do feel like this deck might need more energy or a couple giant hearth. Um, but other than that, I mean, this deck was playing fine. Um, I am playing Belcephalon for Burst GX, um, and Bursting Burn. Uh, and again, we just have, like, a toolbox of different attackers here. Got the Bat, the Eldegoss, the Dene, four Jirachi to start with. Um... I got a Fiery Flint, Crystal, pretty simple fire stuff. I'm not, I'm not playing many Pokemon search options. I got two comms, four Quick Balls. Um, I could actually see a third uh, Quick Ball, or no, sorry, a third comm going into the deck. Um, I got four Switch. Switch is very relevant because we're trying to use Switch with Spike Mouth to activate its effect with Houndoom. Got five Stadiums. You could go down to three Spike Mouth and then throw in an extra energy or a third Pokecom or something if you really wanted to. I got two boss, two research, two, four welders, three cape of toughness, great card allowing you to give your houndoom more HP. It also works with nine tails, which is pretty good. And we got two skateboard. I am playing one heat energy. It doesn't work with welder, but it does give you extra HP, which is pretty good. This could be really useful with your houndoom. So I'm playing the heat energy and they got 11 basic fires. I think 11 might be a little too low. I think you can maybe go up to 13 or 12 energy if you want. We do have a fiery flint and two crystal and we do have like an okay amount of energy search. You can also just cut out the heat energy and just play a 12th fire energy if you really want. Uh, this is my Houndoom list I'm rocking with here, so we'll try it out and see if we can win some games with it. Alright guys, getting into our first match with Houndoom here. We'll see how we do with this deck. Um, let's go for the coin flip here. We do probably still want to go second with this deck, so hopefully they don't let us go first. Because I think we'd rather go second here. Okay, they're letting us go first, rip. Alright, but our opening hand is actually not too bad. Um, we'll start with Jirachi. No, we'll start with Houndoom. Because then we can switch the Houndoom with the Spike Mouth. That seems good to me. We'll just bench everything here. It's fine. Ooh, they're playing Pika. Okay. So we can put this down. We can switch into the Jirachi. Take our 20 damage. We'll Stellar Wish. Hmm. Cape of Toughness. 
Okay. We're just going to go Dead A change here. Unfortunately, we are going to lose a Crobat and a Heat Factor, which are two pretty important discards. But I do really need to get a, a Welder play for next turn and going, so we need to get ready for that. There we go. There we go. Hope they don't play Tool Scrap. <laughs> I'm going to pass. I'm not going to touch the energy just yet. We're going to wait a turn. There's wait turn here. Hopefully they don't Marnie me. That's something I'm scared of. If they Marnie me, we do lose our Welder and two energies, which is going to suck. There's a chance we do whip the energy too. What? They play Crushing Hammer? They're playing a Vika Volt deck. Yikes. I thought they were playing Pika. Well, good thing I attached all the energy then when I did. But Vika Volt we can beat. I mean, they do have two 10 HP, so we do need them to take some damage from Spike Mouth. Okay, looks like Jirachi's a goner. Well, they're losing their hammers, which is good to see. I mean, this Raichu's probably going to take 20 damage, which isn't terrible. I would prefer if the uh, Vigavolt took 20 damage, because then it gets one shot by Vengeful Flame, which is pretty good. Okay, looks like they're just touching the active, which means they don't have the Vigavolt, which is good. Ooh, they got a Marshadow? That's fine. We don't need it. We don't need this, the Spike Mount that did its job. It got the damage on the Bench Houndoom. That's all we care for. Um... Oh, this could be hard to win, though, with the, us being item-locked. Because if we were really playing Senna Scorch, we'd be like, alright, we just ramp up damage, but we don't have that. No, they're actually going to bring in the Dedene, which is pretty annoying. They are discarding a lot of important stuff, though, which is good, but that is still kind of frustrating. We would have been able to attack with Houndoom 2. We're still going to build it up, obviously, and just hope for a switch here. We have a good chance of finding one. I spoke too soon, because we didn't find one. <laughs> Re... Uh, we could do Searing Flame, I guess. Like, like, I mean, 20 damage, and they're burned. I mean, then if they stay in the active, they have a two-card hand, too. We gotta consider that. I mean, if they stay in the active here, we could actually just knock them out. Yeah, let's do it. Screw it. Or we could just go into Jirachi and Stellar Wish. No. Well, I'm going for the Houndoom. We might as well try to get some damage on him. This doesn't sound like a terrible play. The only thing that could stop me is Crushing Hammer Gamer my energy. It's the only thing that could be a problem. Uh, but we get some damage on the Raichu. And they stay burned. So if they stay in the active, they actually get knocked out by Eventual Flame. So that seems pretty good to me. I don't know. They have a three-card hand, too. Like, maybe they have a bad hand. Like, there is a chance they do have a bad hand. Looks like they're playing a Pro's Rotation build? Okay, they're going Crobat. They have no energy in the discard. Yeah, they're playing a, definitely playing a Pulsation build. The only thing I'm scared of are these pesky Crushing Hammers. The Crushing Hammers kind of scare me a little bit. If they do get lots of heads on Hammers, it's going to be a bit of an issue. We'll see, though. We shall see. We do have the energy and the research. I would probably prefer to research instead of Eldegoss for a Welder. We can't even play Welder, though, because we had to retreat. Maybe we should have discarded the Heat Energy and kept the Energy for the Welder. That might actually have been a bad idea. Retreat the Heat Energy. We don't really need the Heat in this matchup. Like, it doesn't really matter to give Houndoom 270 HP. They can mainly retreat, but they have to lose two speeds. Best case scenario, they don't get an attack off here um, with Vika Volt. Okay, they're switching. Ooh, they can paralyze me. Maybe we should have went Jirachi then. If they do paralyze me here, that's going to be really bad. It's going to be really bad if they do end up paralyzing me. Alright, just a boss. That's fine. They're going to bring in the other Houndoom. Um, there's a switch top deck. So we can knock out the active Dedene. We don't have a boss in this card, do we? No. I mean, yeah, I guess we just knock out the Dedene here. We have to lose our Eldegoss, which I don't like. don't like one bit. We've lost Crobat and Eldegoss, which is not ideal for us. Got a Welder and Energy. That's good. Two Welders in our hand, though. Might clunk it up a bit. Now, let's just take a knockout here. Punish this to Dene. They could go Tandem Shock. They could Lightning Ride knock me out, too. We'll see. There's Reshizard. That's pretty nice. Switch is good. That could be that could be good if they, uh, if they paralyze me here. I mean, we probably will get Marnie, though, which sucks, because we are losing to Dene and two Welders, so this is not ideal for us. Yeah, they're going to get a Crushing Hammerheads, too, aren't they? Yep, about time they get one, because of course they will. I hate Crushing Hammer so much. Why is that card always printed? 
Stop printing Christian Hammer. I wish we had more energy in our hand, too. I don't know if I want to welder to the Houndoom. I kind of want to save my welders because we're running low on welders. Yeah, they're going to switch. No, nope. got Dean Power. Oh wait, this is a this is a pre-rotation build. They have Electro Power. What am I saying? This is a pre-rotation build. I'm an idiot. It's interesting I haven't found a Vega Bolt yet, though. I mean, we could do we could actually attack with Nine Tails. How many switch are they down? Only one. Dude, are you serious? Okay, well, oh, they're down three. Never mind. Okay. Well, this hand kind of cheeses me. We, we don't need that many freaking welders. Thank you, game. It's actually kind of funny. We get punished by the uh, thing. If they have a tool scrapper, they can knock me out. Um, that's kind of funny. Ooh, fire crystal. That's pretty nice. We could crystal here. I kind of want to build up nine tails because we can actually paralyze them and then save Houndoom for a rainy day. So it does 200 damage. Bit of a waste of fire crystal. Though. We could save it. If they just knock my right chip. But they're gonna... They, they, we go into the Hound and they knock my Vigavolt. We're item locked. We could go Reshizard, but we can't do... We can't build it up in time. Double Blaze of the knock it out. Try, is there any way we can knock him out? I guess we could have went Heat Ran. Even then, I don't think we're doing enough damage. I think we're just gonna bench this for the best i mean it's fine to play the crystal now it'll probably we'll probably get item locked anyway so it's i guess it's not terrible they have one switch left they have a malana though it's gonna suck okay we got the energy our hand is a little clunky though which i don't like but we can do nine tails shapeshifter here and tandem shock them paralyzing them so that's pretty good we can maybe trap them here if they don't play malana um if they don't have a switch we force them to have one or the other well, we don't have a switch of our own, so this could be bad. They could, uh, if they paralyze me too. Yeah, I don't know. They have a bird keeper. No, I, they don't need a switch. They just have a bird keeper in their hand. They do have to take 20 damage though. So they have 40 HP left. We can just knock them out with a Searing Flame, which is pretty good actually. Uh, the only problem is our hand is completely dead. There's not a single card in our hand we can play unless we happen to top deck an energy. Because we're going to get paralyzed again. Which is not good. We just need to knock out this Raichu, and then we just need to knock out Crobat or Coco. And we win the game. I mean, if we could draw a switch here, that'd be amazing. Drawing a switch here would be great. Really great. They can't KO old Ninetales, though, without Tandem Shock. There's the Vikavolt, finally. They finally go for it. Only one energy in the discard, though. It's going to be a tough one to win, not going to lie. This is going to be a little tough. It's like, the fact that our entire hand is completely dead is not really helping our case. And we can't seem to find any basic fire energies to go with these welders. So, it's not looking good. Not looking good at all for us right now. They are down a reset. Hopefully they don't play two. I think the only way they could win is if they maybe have another reset stamp. Like, Marty would be bad because then we lose our welders, but it's going to get us out of this, like, awful hand. But this is what it is. I mean, we could also knock out the Raichu and just win with Burst GX. So, we have that option available to us, too. Uh, we could win with a Burst GX here. But the problem is they hit me with Tandem Shock. And they finished me off with Paralyzing Bolt. That is terrible. This matchup is not going very well. We need to get our last Switch here. If we're going to stand a chance of maybe winning this. Switch or Skateboard. So all we need to do is knock out Raichu and then just Burst GX for game. Which we can pull off. We just need to get the combo. Unfortunately we're in top deck mode and we are down 3 Switch. So the odds of us getting out of this Paralysis is very very low. Yep. This game ain't throwing me any bones today, unfortunately. Six fire in the deck. And an escape board. We didn't have our last switch, though, so it's a prize rip. Well, Nine Tails is a goner. And we're going to get item locked here, which is pretty bad. Not going to lie, this is really bad. We might not even draw an energy for the other Houndoom. How many bosses do they have? One. They got a Thunder Mountain too. Okay, we have the Counter Stadium, so we're fine. But they're going to knock me out here at Paralyzing Bolt. I mean, if we were able to knock out the Raichu here, we might have stood a chance of winning. But we really needed to find a Skateboard or Switch. Fion. Hmm. I'm actually fine with this. 
I could actually let them knock out the Houndoom, and then we can Super Zap King? I don't know. Again, all we need to do is knock out this Raichu, and then we can just try to win with the Cephalon GX, which is in the deck, so... That's kind of how we're going to try to win this, I think. I don't know if we can get there, though, with the state we're in. I mean, this is going to be a close game, for sure. It's going to be a very close game. Alright, Guzmahala. Okay. No Marnie is good, so we get to keep our hand, which... I mean, it's not a great hand, but we do have a Counter Stadium... And stuff like that, so it's fine. Again, if we can just draw one of our basic energies here, we're chilling. And we don't we don't have that many items left. We only have like a tool or two. What? They're gonna lightning ride me. Are they even they're not switching, are they? No, they are. Hmm. I don't know why. I guess they couldn't retreat into the paralyzing bull, but that gives me another turn of items, which is really good. Oh my gosh, bro, what are these top decks? This is ridiculous. These top decks are awful. I mean, what do you want me to say? <laughs> These top decks are gosh dang terrible. I don't even know what to say. Like, what do I what do I do? Do I just dead a change and then we lose all our welders? I don't know. Dude, ugh, this sucks. If our top decks weren't so terrible. Hmm. I, I think we have to go dead A change. I think I am going to go dead A change here. We're going to lose all our welders, which is awful. But, I mean, do we have boss in the deck? We do. Okay, so we can hit a boss. We knock out the Raichu with Searing Flame. And then we just got a Wimple Cephalon. That's going to be our game plan. We'll see if we can pull it off. We just need to hit boss here, and then we can go burst. Come on. Okay, no, we just... <sighs> just draw all of our energy, which we don't need anymore. And now we're out of welder, so... Yeah, not good. We whiff the boss. We can't knock out the Raichu. I mean, bro... We were drawing, like, absolute trash here at the end. I mean, there's nothing I can really do. At this point. Yeah, there's not much I can do. I think we've lost. There's like, I don't see how we're winning this. How many energy they played? Not many. They're out of switches. They're pretty much out of switches, I think, right? I mean, I guess we just take the knockout here. I mean, yeah, we'll take the knockout with Houndoom. We can still go Jirachi, and we, unless they don't reset Stammy. We could still hit um, the Knockout, possibly. I don't know if we prized the boss. I don't think we did. Another item. Perfect. So, I mean, if we could still wish in a boss, again, we're going to go Raichu to win, which shouldn't be too hard, unless they Malolana it. If they Malolana the Raichu, I mean, yeah, we got to concede. So, we'll see. I really wish we were drawing so poorly here at the end, though. If we weren't drawing as poorly as we were, we probably could have been winning the game. Because our game plan is so simple. You knock out the Raichu and then we just burst. We can't do that when we're drawing, like, you know, trash. They probably have game next turn. If we don't get the boss off the Stellar Wish, we probably just lose. Because they have their last boss in their hand to knock out Dedenne with Super Zap Cannon. So, we're going to lose here if we don't hit a boss's order off Stellar Wish. I'm pretty sure it's in the deck. Like, I know for a fact it should be in... Like, I remember seeing a few cards when I did play that Quick Ball earlier. Okay, Kaylin Cynthia. It's not good. Um, it's not a Marnie, which is good. Well, I, actually, I would have preferred Marnie, because it would have helped us. Ooh, why wouldn't they actually play the Absol? Yeah, they got the boss. Okay, as long as we don't get reset stamped here, we should be fine. Hopefully, they don't play two stamps. I don't know if they have room for all these pesky item cards. So, hopefully, they don't have reset stamp. Hopefully, they don't have reset stamp. They might. But, like, they have so many random items in here, like Turbo Patch, Stamp, Tag Call, Switch, Crushing Hammer, Electro Power... There's no way they fit into... Cr yeah, okay, there's nothing else. So, we pretty much have to hit the energy here, we lose, right? It's like, no, the boss. We, if we don't hit the boss here, we just lose the game. Um, there's no other way I can win, because they have boss in their hand. So we just need to hit our boss here off Stellar Wish, and we win. Okay, that's not helping. Alright, moment of truth. Will we get the boss, or are we going to take an L here? We got the boss, alright, nice. Whew, dude. This was a weird game. We drew it pretty poorly throughout the middle of it. Um, 
but yeah, I'm just gonna go boss and Houndoom Searing and Flame. It's gonna finish it off. That's gonna be game. There you go. Houndoom taking out Vika Volt. Honestly, in a pretty intense match. That was close. Literally came down to the wire. What were our prizes even? Yeah, last switch. Fire Crystal being prized kind of sucked. It would have been nice to have Fire Crystal there when they went with the Lightning Ride knockout. Again, we really needed to just get energy to go with those welders. And again, we don't have Giant Hearth in this deck because we played in Spike Mouth. Um, but I can see the Heat Factory getting cut from the deck for a Giant Hearth. Which I honestly kind of... I don't mind that, to be honest with you. I really don't. All right, guys. Getting into another match here with our Houndoom v. Spike Mouth deck. We're up against... Possibly a grass deck. I mean, they kind of got all the signs of grass. Either that or they are a huge fan of Sceptile. We're going to find out. All right, we'll let them go first. See what we're starting with here. Jirachi to Dene. Terrible hand. All right, good. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Terrible starting hand. Hopefully, we can draw a Pokemon so we can at least spike mouth. Okay, they are playing a grass deck. Okay, well, I don't know how long this game will really last, if I'm going to be honest with you. Okay, stop giving me Pokemon. <laughs> we can get a Fire Pokemon, though, at least with this Calm, which is nice. The game needs to chill out on giving me these Pokemon. Okay. Well, what we can actually do is calm away the Eldegoss for probably Volcanion. We'll Stellar Wish. Take the Welder. We'll hold the hand, I think. We'll hold the hand as long as we can. We'll Welder to the Volk. Dude. I mean, what am I supposed to say? I mean, they'll, they'll attack me, so I'm fine with this. Heat Ran. Okay, well, I guess Heat Ran is going to have to be our uh, our Flare Starter Pokemon of choice, which is fine. And as long as it's one shot, I don't really care, right? And this thing doesn't work with Cape of Toughness, though, which is the only problem. But we can always we can do this. This is fine. Uh, we can actually put an Energy on the Active 2. They're not going to knock me out, I don't think. So, yeah. If they had a Trico in play, they could have knocked me out. I would have preferred a Houndoom, obviously, but I'll take the Heat Ran. The Heat Ran's fine enough. It can still knock stuff out. It just won't have as much HP as Houndoom because we don't have Cape of Toughness uh, with Heat Ran. We can put on a Volk, though, can't we? Yeah, Cape of Toughness is going Volk. We can give Volk a lot of HP. I mean, I don't know how long this game is even going to last, guys, to be honest. Again, they're playing a Grass deck. Come on. I don't really know what to do with this hand, either, in all honesty. I think we just kind of hold on to it for a bit until we can draw something here. There's a boss. Uh, we'll boss up this, I guess, and knock it out. Let's see why not. Carver probably could have played the Heat Factory there, actually. Probably should have. Whatever. Let's take our prize. Another Spike Mouth. More Stadiums. So this guy's already damaged, so... I mean, next turn we can just go Heat Ran and do a Steaming Stomp. Keep this guy alive with the energy, with the damage on it. And we're chilling. Just a Tackle. Are they playing Rillaboom? I don't really know how they're going to be able to make this deck work without a Rillaboom, to be honest. Right, so let's go Heat. Let's see what we get here. Got Quick Ball. We can get Houndoom, which I'm going to do. Get that Houndoom V-Boy. We don't have a Welder, but that's fine. Um, switch into the Heat Ran. Move Energy into it. Let's put that there and put that there and take the knockout i mean i don't even know if we can lose but i mean it is what it is let's see what we get calm okay we can calm the dedene then we can try to go crowbat and try to draw into a welder here so we can build up the houndoom we just build houndoom i think we've pretty much sealed the deal on winning this i mean yeah they go septile septiles can't do much i mean if they had like a special condition maybe they could have done something but we have three switch so we have a switch in our hands so yeah we're not gonna lose this i don't think they have to put a weak card on which they didn't do so do they even have a? Do they have another base account? No, that's that's just gonna be game. All right. Well, that was a very uneventful match for sure. Very uneventful match. We're just gonna take a knockout with Hot Burn GX and call it a day. All right. Looks like we are prizing our switches, so we prize another switch there. It's good to know. And we get a daily challenge done. We got 45 coins. Not enough to buy a pack, I don't think. No, but at least we got a lot of coins now. All right, guys. We have another match. We're up against someone with a Psychic deck. Probably gonna be a Dragapult or a Malamar deck. I don't really know if Dragapult's winnable. Malamar could be winnable. It could be Malamar Mewtwo, which is actually getting a bit of a resurgence in popularity I've been finding. So we'll have to see if it performs well at Pog tomorrow. Or today, actually. When you watch this video, Pog is actually today. Um, oof. Our starting hand is a bit of a rip. Hmm. All right, we'll start with the... 
start with the rushy zard right sure because then we can calm the hound dude we might just go crow batter to den depending on what we draw yep our against dragon pull all right there's a volk um all right i might just go crow bad i don't know how many crystals we got two i mean uh, i guess the is the play i don't know this kind of stings though to be honest I don't know if I want to change away all these, you know, whatever. That activates fire crystal. That's not terrible. There's spike mouth. We didn't get a switch, though. Hmm. We also didn't get any energy to go with our welder, which is pretty feels bad, man. Yeah, I wish we had a switch here. Because we had a switch, we could have went Jirachi. And possibly Stellar Wish into fire crystal. So that does kind of suck. Can't lie to you there. I mean... We'll just put this in play and pass. Worst case scenario, we'll have to uh, we'll have to discard this welder with the Dene. We'll see. I don't really want to bench too many Dedenes though. Oh, bro, they got. Oh, actually, that doesn't matter. Shine damages Rushy's are That works too. That works too. I don't know if we're gonna be able to win this though. Like, it is Dragapult at the end of the day. It's still a bit of a tough matchup for sure. I guess with Cape of Toughness though. Uh, no, never mind. Cape of Toughness still puts at two six HP. If we get a Heat Energy into Cape of Toughness on Houndoom. And they can't two-shot us with Dragapult without using Zigzagoon, I guess, which is kind of decent, but yeah, not great. Not too great. We'll see if we can win this. This might be a little tough to beat, though, for sure. Uh, Dragapult is still pretty good, in my opinion. It's Ooh, dude, thank you for getting rid of that reset stamp. I like that. We actually could see a Marnie here. I didn't didn't consider that. We should have maybe put the Cape of Toughness on in the Houndoom in case of a Marnie. It is what it is. We're probably going to have the Dead A change. I don't see us drawing into an energy here. To be honest, we'll see though. I mean, do we really even want to knock up the Jirach? I'd probably rather just damage the Dragapult. I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see. They're probably not going to attack with Dragapult, right? There's like no need to. We'll see. Rushy's Heart could be a good attacker in this matchup too. Having access to Flare Strike could be pretty good. We'll see what happens. I don't think they have any more stadiums, so I mean, our Heat Factory could stay in play all game. That could be a possibility. The Shrine is pretty relevant, though. It is making it so that Adene is going to take more damage, and again, you don't like to see that against a deck like this. Houndoom doesn't one-shot Jirachi, does it? Burn only does 20 damage, I'm pretty sure. Then I guess if they retreat with Spike Mouth, they get knocked out, but they have Scoop of Net. Great Catcher getting discarded is actually pretty good, too. Not going to lie. I mean, yeah, there's nothing we can really do here to damage Dragapult. We just kind of have to accept our fate. Let's see we draw. Yeah, all right. Well, looks like we're having to go dead A change, unfortunately. So... Take Jirachi, I guess? I don't know. I don't really want to bench this, but whatever. Hate doing this, not going to lie. Hate doing that. We didn't get a switch or a welder. We did get the counter stadium, which is pretty good. Hmm. Just gonna have to research. I do really need to go. I want to get this out of the active. I don't want Reshi's to take too much damage. Okay. Anyone know where my switches are at? Because I cannot seem to find them today. They're not coming out to play. And that sucks quite a bit. We're down five fires, seven fires, nine in our hand. That's not good. Good thing we got two crystals, though. I don't like Zarbin in the active. I just don't want it to take damage from the Dragapult, because I'll just two-shot it. It's already got ten damage on it, so... I don't really like this. Zard is a very easy target now for my opponent's Dragapult, which is really bad. Because um, now they just boss us up, knock it out, take three easy prizes. Not good. Maybe we should have started with the Zard after all. I mean, I didn't know they were playing Dragapult, though. Yeah, they're going to be attacking me here. It's not good. We could use Reshi's Art technically to do double blaze to knock this out, but it's probably too late. And they have a research. Yeah, they're running on all fours here. It's good thing they didn't Marnie me, though, because this hand is pretty... They have three shrines? Bro, what? I did not expect a third shrine to come down. Oh, my goodness. That's bad. The more damage we take from these Dragapults and the shrine, the worse it is. Yeah, this is not good. Not going to lie. This is not good. Whiffing the switch kind of sucks, but whatever. We can't really do much about it. I don't know if we're going to win this. We just have too many Pokemon in play that Dragapult can knock out, which is not good. We are two-shotting Dragapult, though, with Houndoom, which is a good sign. 
That is one good thing. We'll see, though, how we can win this. If they don't get rid of our hand, I mean, the heat energy does give our Hound Doom that 270 HP, which means they can't two-shot me with Max Phantom straight away. I don't know how we're going to be able to deal with two Dragon Balls, so that is not going to be easy, especially with our board state right now. Ooh, are they going to feel me? Hmm. If they feel me, I could give them the Dedene. No, they're not. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, they probably want to get 130 damage on my Zark. They do have a two-card hand. I guarantee you one of those cards is either a boss or a research, because of course it is. They're probably going to damage the Dedene, I'm assuming. They could hit the Jirachi, too, for next turn to knock it out. No, they actually decide to hit Houndoom, which is quite interesting. All right, let's see what we draw. There's our switch. Okay, well, good thing we don't spike mouth in play, because I would have taken damage. Um... Can't take a KO with Hot Burn GX, so that's a little picture. Take the calm, I guess. I, I mean, I have like I do have Blissefulon's Bursting Burn attack. Um, they haven't played a switch yet though, so that is a terrible idea. I think we just go Heat Energy switch. I think we just gotta go Houndoom here. I don't really know of any other attacker that is this good in a matchup like this. To be honest. I think we just gotta hit him for 200 damage. I mean, we can two-shot them. We have a boss in our hand, too, so if they try to, like, I don't know, hide behind the other Dragapult or something, we can just boss it back up. Unless we get Marnied here. Again, they probably have a good hand. They probably can knock out the Zard here. They could probably knock out the Reshi Zard, which is, you know, not good for us, obviously. Really bad, actually. Really, really bad. We'll see, though. Yep. Told you they had the boss in their hand. Told you they had it. They always do. But it looks like they're actually not going to get energy on the Dragapult, though, which is huge. Really huge, actually. Um, that's really good for us. Now we might actually have a chance of winning this. Because we can just boss this up and hit it twice. I'll save a Malana. We'll see. Why are they just hitting the Houndoom? I don't know why they're not hitting the Dene. Unless they have a Tool Scrapper to get rid of my Cape of Toughness, which could be really bad. Uh, we could just go with the other Houndoom, though. Alright, let's see we draw. I really want to get a Counter Stadium here. Okay, I think we can quick ball away to the other Houndoom at this point. We could use Ninetales, I guess. Ninetales actually isn't terrible. Let's take it out of the deck. I don't know. Um, we have to attack with the other Houndoom, actually. I just realized because this guy won't have... Yeah, we have to actually attack with the other Houndoom here. Okay. We actually... Oh, we could go Ninetales. Oh, no, we can't do Welder. No, we can't do Welder. Yeah, we just go Ninetales here. Instead of Houndoom. Yeah, I like that. We could swing with Ninetales here and actually copy their own Max Phantom, which is pretty good. Um, don't know, really know where I want to put the damage. I guess what we could do is set up a play where we almost win the game by um, by winning. We could win the game by using um, by like a Heat Ran. I think I just put all the damage on the Dragapult. Because we could just win by bossing this up with like a Heat Ran or something. We didn't get the Spike Mouth, which kind of sucks. I would have liked to have seen that Shrine get bumped. Um, let's see what our prizes are, though. We're getting some good prizes. Crobat's good. Another Welder's pretty good. I think our other Wing Con at this point could honestly be to just use, um... Just use, like, Heat Rain's Hot Burn. We can get there. We just need something to get taken off the field. So it's not ideal. That could, we can win the game by just going Heat Rain, possibly. So we gotta consider that. Zigzagoon. The only thing I'm really honestly scared of right now is a Marnie or a Tool Scrapper. Because Tool Scrapper gets rid of this, and then this thing gets weaker. I think we're in a pretty good spot right now, though. And again, if they not go Jirachi, we can just win by using the Heat Rain. So I actually don't mind Jirachi getting killed here. We could also maybe win by... Actually... Hmm. We should have put damage on this. If this doesn't evolve, we actually could knock this out and then just win with Burst GX. I didn't consider that. Oh, they're going to stand me anyways. That's not good. Still got a calm. We can still get heat ran. As long as we can just get a heat ran, I think we'll be okay. 
We'll see what they do. They're probably going to stay in the active, right? If they stay in the active, we can always boss up this Dragapult, hopefully. Hmm, Ninetales actually can't knock out the Jirachi, which kind of sucks. It's only doing 60 damage, that's kind of hilarious. We'd have to do Flamethrower, <laughs> lol. We could retreat into Houndoom, I guess, and knock out the Ninetales. I mean, or knock out the Jirachi that way. Okay, research. They are down a lot of energy, I just realized. Four, six. Oh, they only need to take three prizes, actually. Oh, they just win next turn. They just boss up the Jirachi and win. Oh, they boss up the Denny and win the game. Which, yeah. Okay, we've lost. They're definitely just going to boss up and win the game next turn. We've lost the game. They evolve anyways, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, there's no way I can win now. There's no way I can win. I'm trying, like, what we would have to do is we would have to, we'd have to go Heat Ram, we just can't do that. All they gotta do is just boss up the Dene and they just knock out Drachi and Dene and take three prizes because Azar was in play. So we've lost, unfortunately. They, they have a lot of Stellar Wishes to work with. Yeah, they're gonna win. We've lost. Yeah, and they found the boss. All right, we've lost. Unless we can... There's nothing I can really think of that can help us win. We came close. Again, we really, honestly, were just like one, maybe like one heat ran away. Just couldn't, could not quite get there. Mm. Oh, can we bait them actually into knocking out Drachi here? I, if they knock out Drachi, this is perfect. No, they don't do it. You suck. Ah, we can't go heat ran. What do we draw? Hmm. I mean... Could bring in the other Dragapult. Yeah, I think we might have to just boss up the other Dragapult. If they knocked out Drachi, we would have won the game, but they didn't, which is unfortunate. I think we just boss up the Dragapult VMAX and just hope they can't switch out. They're down to a skateboard. The only problem is they haven't played a single switch yet. Which I don't understand how they haven't played a single switch. But uh, if we if we just boss up the Dragapult, we could buy a turn maybe. I can't really think of any other way to win. I'm actually going to go Houndoom too so we can two-shot them. This is like the only way I can win and hope they can't move this or switch it. Oh, wait, nothing on the bench had damage? I didn't even realize. Oh, my God. Oh, I threw. I just threw. Nothing on the bench had damage on it. Bro. Okay. This game's about over. This game's over. The only way we can win is if they knock something out on the bench and we just go with the Heat Ram play. Which they're avoiding completely, which is smart. Unless, if this thing is stuck in the active, though, maybe we can win just by, by just sheer luck. Dang it, I forgot that I didn't I totally forgot something on the bench had a damage. We should just went nine tails. Oh, they have an energy. Yeah, that was uh, I threw. I threw. Best case scenario, they knock something out so we can heat ran. If they don't, we just lose. Yeah, they're just gonna keep hiding behind Jirachi. There's nothing I can do about that. Unless I topic my other boss and I keep bringing this up and run him out of energy. That honestly could be a thing. They have three escape boards, too? So we have no way to stall them now? Oh my gosh, dude. This guy's deck is cheesy me. They have to knock something out. If they don't knock anything out, we're not going to win. Dang it, though. I should have just went Ninetales. That was so silly. I don't think we would have won, though, anytime soon by just going Ninetales Shapeshifter, but we should have went Ninetales. I totally forgot Houndoom wasn't doing enough damage. Oh, well, we've lost. We lost. They, they. Unless they don't have their last energy. We just switch. Uh, never lose hope. Yeah. So nothing here is helping us, right? There's nothing in our hand that can help us. We have no energy. Hmm. Oh, yeah. We've lost. 
The only way I could see us winning this is if they don't have a, uh, an energy in their hand, which they obviously do. All right, we've lost. Yeah, we've lost. There's nothing I can do. I mean, my opponent played really smart. All they had to do for us to win was to knock out something, and we would have won the game by just going hot burn GX, but they didn't give me that option. So, I mean, they did play pretty smart. I'll give them that. I mean, I don't know if this matchup was even winnable to begin with, but they did play pretty smart. There's nothing I can do. I mean, it's going to come down to whether they have energy, though, but if they have it, we just lose. But, yeah, it looks like Houndoom put up the best fight it could against Dragapult. We could have won the game. Again, they had to have knocked out something in play for us to win. That's all it took. I mean, maybe our other win condition would have been to just knock out, um... Again, if we... If we... Ideally, if we did do the 200 damage there and we hit another boss, we could have won the game. But, yeah. We just... Yeah. They just need to take something out. Anyways, whatever the video guys on the Hound Doom deck. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, drop a like on the video. Subscribe down below if you're the channel. Home in the road reaching 10,000 subscribers. We just broke 9,700 subs. So, if you guys, again, are new to the channel, make sure to sub. If you haven't already, what are you doing? Subscribe to the channel. Um... This is the list. Um, any other changes, honestly, probably would just be to add more energy or like a scoop up net because you just saw how important it was to just take something off the board there. I don't know. Uh, we just kind of got unlucky. But that'll be it for the video, guys. If you enjoyed, again, drop a like in the video. Uh, sub down below. Check out the card cavern down below. Use code LDF. Check out my Patreon and all the good stuff. And I'll see you guys later.